Wow, this is certainly one I wasn't expecting to be making today. I was all settled in with a video ready to go up later and uh, preparing myself for the release of the Xbox Series X and Series S tomorrow morning uh, with the pre-orders going live at 8 o'clock in the UK. And uh, yeah, I was, I was all ready for all those things. And then Microsoft and Bethesda decided to throw me a curveball. And as Sully was saying the other day, Microsoft have had a habit of throwing curveballs lately. And some of them have been sticking. And this one's certainly <laughs> sticking. And uh, as I say, it was something that took me by complete surprise. And uh, what it is basically is that Microsoft have bought ZeniMax Media for wait for it, $7.5 billion. And uh, this first uh, came up on my Discord, and I can thank Count for that. He uh, posted the link in there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, ZeniMax Media own Bethesda. <laughs> and so the acquisition includes Bethesda Softworks, Bethesda Game Studios, ID soft Software or ID Software, ZeniMax Online Studios, Arcane, Machine Games, Tango Gameworks, Alpha Dog, and Roundhouse Studios. And uh, if I just go along, I can show you the press release. If we look here on the press release, let me go down. Yeah, it says, here you go. Microsoft will acquire ZeniMax Media for $7.5 billion in cash. You know, that they just had lying around in the biscuit tin in the kitchen at Microsoft. Because, <laughs> look, yeah, I mean, it's not chump change to them, but uh, yeah, they can afford to do it. And uh, yeah, as I say, it, it was completely out of left field. There's probably a lot more details to go over, and I'm sure we'll make another video about that as time goes on. But for now, we know that they've acquired them. And we also know, because Jason Schreier, if I can find the tweet, uh, not there, probably this one here. Yeah, Jason Schreier has found out that Microsoft will, and I quote, uh, honor the PlayStation 5 exclusivity commitment for Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo. So if you're a PlayStation fan and you were looking forward to those games, fear not, certainly in the short term, fear not, because those games will be coming to the PlayStation. And as he goes on to say, future Bethesda games will be on Xbox, PC and other consoles on a case by case basis. So it's pretty much what we've seen before from Microsoft when they've acquired a studio. They've honoured the commitments that were already there, but who knows what's going to happen down the line. And uh, we could see more games from Microsoft coming over to other platforms. I mean, you know, we, we've seen Ori is coming to the Switch. So it's not out of the question that other games in future will continue to come to PlayStation Switch, and we know they're coming to PC. But for now, yeah, this is this is... Well, it's exciting. It's a little bit worrying as well, because obviously we're seeing a consolidation in the gaming industry. We're seeing fewer and fewer companies controlling the publishing. But for now, I'm actually, I said this to my partner, we were on the way to pick up my boy from school. And I said to, I said to her, I'm, I'm actually really excited and I'm trying to keep down my cynicism and my worry about the possible fallout of this that could be negative. But for now, as I say, I, I am, I'm really excited and the timing couldn't be better because as I mentioned just a minute ago, tomorrow, the pre-orders for the Series X and the Series S go live. Talk about generating buzz. It's not something you usually associate with Microsoft being good at marketing, but this is definitely a marketing coup. And it's a coup in terms of the properties they've acquired as well. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, look, let me know in the comments what you think of this one. Uh, do you think it's good for Xbox gamers? I think it must be. Do you think it's bad for PlayStation gamers or anyone else? And, you know, how do you feel about it, basically? As I say, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and all the usual stuff and subscribe and hit the bell and share with your friends and all the other stuff, because uh, as I keep saying recently, 
YouTube don't like people like me. <laughs> they don't like the small guys. But anyway, that's me done. I just wanted to get this one out as quickly as I could. And uh, yeah, I uh, I am. I'm, I'm excited. And uh, yeah, I need to go and uh, <laughs> sit down and process this one. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll uh, speak to you in the next one. Bye.